What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we kind of announced a, 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 a change in the team, one of it being we switched out Corviknight for Togepi, and towards the very end of the episode, we evolved it twice to its final form, Togekiss. As you guys can see, this Pokemon is looking pretty tanky, pretty cool. We did equip it with the Rocky Head, since it is bulky. You know, it might receive a few damage here and there, but now it is finally time for us to actually just move on right here. We're in Wyndham, and we have to go straight into Wyndham Stadium. And, uh, well, we just have to look for it. I'm only assuming it's right here, maybe. I don't even know. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, wow, this place is looking pretty freaking legit. Okay, alrighty. Holy biscuits, what's this? Pokemart. Oh, it's another Pokemart. And yeah, you can buy some of the usuals right here, which well, eventually we will be doing right here. Okay, so yeah, we, 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 we've been doing a lot as of lately. And uh, I don't know why I did that. Hmm. Where the hell did we go? Where in the HE Double Hockey 6 did we go? Oh, wow, okay. So yeah, we've been doing quite a few things here in Pokemon Sword, guys. Switches. Doing that, and we found an air balloon. An item held by a Pokemon. The holder will flow until it, until hit. Once the holder is hit, this item will burst. Okay, so that right there is a pretty much strategy. But yeah, we've been doing quite a few things, guys. And and yeah, you know, I cannot wait to see what happens next because, well, you know, last time we were here, we didn't really put a lot of effort into into the walkthrough. We just kind of wanted to finish it off and go into the next adventure, the next uh, what was it called? Um, the next adventure, the next walkthrough, but you know, we're finally getting some stuff done. And uh, hold on, there we go. We're finally getting stuff done, and uh, well, we're gonna, yeah, we're definitely gonna, we're definitely gonna be doing some stuff on, like on time, uh, in uh, f like in time for the next Pokemon game that you know I'm planning on doing. And well, look at that, we got ourselves a nugget. Now, if you guys haven't uh, haven't heard. I believe the next game we're going to be playing is Pokemon it's Pokemon Sun mainly because well of the corrupt file that happened now before we go into winning there is a place right here where you can receive a free Pokemon uh, Halucha that's a ticket maybe be sharp for the next time I don't even know okay well not right there let's go right here and I think if you talk to this guy Rotom Fun, it means you already know the Pokemon really loves to jump into all sorts of motors. If you want to find out how Rotom enters motors, then try my best, uh, my own Pokemon. Okay. Prepare to be confounded by all various forms of Dear Rotom. Okay, so we're going to be battling this guy, a Rotom Trainer, and all that crud. He's going to be telling us what exactly a Rotom does. Because why not? And look at that, that is a grass type Rotom. Again, I, don't, I really don't know why. Like, I really don't know why Rotom became a Pokemon. But then again, I, I don't know why they didn't use Rotom, like, in everything else in the first place. It took them quite a while to figure that sh that, that stuff out, man. Ew, Leaf Storm. Wow. Messes us up. Okay. I see how it is. Time to take out the big guns. Togepi. Let's go. So say hello to Togepi. Pokemon that you know I just got and we're gonna be using a little air slash right here so here we go air slash that was not super effective huh okay never mind oh yeah huh just realized something and well let's see let's go right ahead and he's gonna be coming out with a, another Rotom right here so he's just showing us the different variations of Rotom um, if you guys haven't caught my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough, like when I finished uh, the extra stuff, we did go through the Team Galactic uh, area, secret area, where you can actually find different forms of uh, the different forms of Rotom. And every time you change the Rotom's form, it learns it learns a very powerful elemental move like Leaf Storm. And uh, yeah, you can probably switch it up every so, every so often right there. And look at that Kiss grows level 56. Learning Double Edge, and enables a move to partially lower side. Okay, well, let's just go with that, since it, it's starting to become more of an attacker. But then afterwards, we're just going to, you know, we're going to be strategic, since we do have someone that knows how to, like, 
you know, change up the moves and whatnot. So, let's see, he already came out with that. Okay. Let's go with Dreamzilla. Dreamzilla. How's it going? Alrighty, Dreamzilla's ready to go. And, uh, we're just a few levels away from evolving Dreamzilla. Again, okay, so let's go right ahead and use some Dragon Pulse right here. So yes, like I was saying guys, uh, the next game that I'm thinking of, you know, actually focusing on is Pokemon Sun. Um, I did mention a few, like prior to this whole thing, a few days, maybe weeks ago, that there was a little bit of a corruption onto the file of my Pokemon, uh, my Pokemon Moonwalk group. And that right there just kind of messed everything up. It really did. And since I took the nice layoff on from Pokemon Moon, there's just a few things that, you know, you just don't remember. Me, I don't remember a lot of the stuff that I did and all that crap, what my plans were. So I, so I was like, whatever, you know what? I'm just going to be... Maybe this was meant to be. Maybe I need to actually play Pokemon Sun and, and get, thing, uh, get things going with that just by focusing on it and all that stuff. So let's see. Rotom Catalog, a catalog of devices that Rotom like. Use uh, Catalog to have Rotom hop in and out of various devices listed within. If you use the Rotom Catalog, it will let the Rotom enter in all sorts of home, or home appliances. Oh, and of course, Rotom can get in and out. Okay, that's cool. Alrighty, so let's move on right here. There is an individual right here that you can actually get a specific Pokemon. I just need to find them. So let's see, talk to this lady. It seems it'd be harsh, but having a fun. Okay. Yeah, not this Pokemon trainer. You can actually get yourself a rare Pokemon right here, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. But yeah. Let's see, what I was saying. Let's see. Right here. Searching for a frost moth. You wouldn't happen to have one. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this guy is offering a he wants a frost moth, but. It goes back to, you know, I, I don't have the Pokemon just yet. I think I have one in the Pokemon, uh, in another Pokemon file. Actually, not another Pokemon file, but just, like, you know, in the a, in a bank storage. So, see, we read all those books and shells. Okay, okay. Never mind. Okay, so, yeah. So, yeah, like I was saying, guys, uh, Corrupt File, all that stuff. Pokemon Sun and Moon, and, uh, hope you guys are ready for that one. Uh, we're definitely going to be focusing on only that and just that because, well, you know, we've been doing quite a few walkthroughs, guys, and I think it's time to just, like, to slow it down a little and actually, yeah, it's actually time to slow it down and and focus on one just like I did back, the, back in the day when I was doing a yellow, blue, or when I was doing yellow, uh, crystal, and uh, all these other walkthroughs right here. So let's see, grab this. Fan ourselves a grassy seed, an item held by a Pokemon. It boosts the defense of grassy terrain, and it can only be used once, which is kind of lame. It really is, but rules is rules, right? And we found ourselves another rare candy. So, let's see. Let's get the heck out of here. Another thing that I'm trying to do in this walkthrough is, uh, yeah, the, the extra adventures, you know, the Isle of Armor and all that stuff. And uh, hopefully we'll get that we'll get that done by the holidays and all that stuff too. Okay, so enough chatter right here. Let's just get to the stadium. Right here, look at that. The stadium's waiting for us. And I wonder what we'll find. There's another Pokemon Center right there. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's see what's gonna happen. The big stadium. Okay, so, hello there. And the bald guy. Let's see what kind of Pokeball does he give us. He's gonna give us... Bam, the Dream Ball. Okay. A somewhat different Pokeball that makes it easier to catch wild Pokemon while they're asleep. That makes a whole lot of sense. Alright. Okay, so that... Okay, I, I could use that Pokeball for something else. And, well, here's Hop. Alright, we're gonna talk to this guy. He's like, Dreaming, correct? We've been watching your, uh, watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is uh, just a formality, of course, but we'll need to check in your gym badges if, uh, if, you, uh, if you don't mind. I'm it's like I'm all sorted and ready to battle you on the biggest stage of them all. But it looks like Bede couldn't make it uh, hard luck. Somehow I didn't think he'd uh, just being he just being disqualified lying down. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, Bede. I guess it is what it is. 
Come on, Draven, we should head over to the locker room. Okay. So, here we are in the gym challengers area. And we're going to be starting the semi-pros, or the semi... <laughs> The semifinals real quick right here. So let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at the playoff bracket right here. Okay, no playoff bracket. Uh, nothing to click. Uh, hey, I'm sorry, but only on the race. Okay, all right, never mind. Never mind. Okay, see how it is. Uh, what if I go right here? Oh yeah, <laughs> we can get the heck out of here, right? Okay, so we're not ready for a Pokemon battle just yet. Not just yet. Okay, so let's see. We're not ready, because I think there is a place right here where you can actually buy yourself some TMs, and I kind of want to do that before... Let's see, there's lead cards. Nope, not there. Right here, Pokemon drinks, and... Okay, so nobody... Okay, hold on. Maybe it's this guy right here. And challengers are just so amazing. Okay, never mind. Nerves of Steel, okay. Nobody sells anything, but if we go into this area right here, I think... This is where we're going to find some items. Probably. I don't know. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Okay, yes, he sells some Pokemon items. And he is selling the best of the best. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. 50,000. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to sell some stuff right here. And thankfully, we, we actually did a lot of wild Pokemon battles to do that. So, there we go. That. And, uh, let's see. Pearl Strings. Those are going to be a lot. And Big Pearls. Let's sell all of them right here. And don't worry, guys. We are going to be getting... We're going to be getting some more. Okay, so we got enough right there. So let's go ahead and start buying some uh, some of these punches right here. So Fire Punch. Ice Punch. Thunder Punch. Drain Punch. And Solar Blade. Hyper Potion, or Giga Impact. So we're buying the best ones. Eventually we're going to buy like the smaller ones right there. And we're going back to the same price. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what moves work for what Pokemon on my team right here. So let's see. Um, okay. Okay, so here are the new items that I got. Breaking Swipe will not go away. But this one right here is actually going to... Come use oh actually you know what let's go ahead and take a look at this uh st stomping tantrum kids can actually learn driven by frustration yeah that and look at this fire punch is actually an option for Bex. ice punch for kiss thunder punch oh wow okay drain punch wait drain punch seriously toga kiss can or toga kiss can actually learn that holy crud and then Giga Impact in it by everybody except, uh, oh wow, okay, so, let's see, hmm, hmm, yeah, this is, this is kind of a, this is kind of a, a big pickle right here, so, yeah, never mind, yeah, many of you guys are, I can hear it now, you're wasting time, man, go straight to the Pokemon battles, I will, I'm going, I'm going, okay, so, we're gonna be going into the Pokemon battles, and, uh, we're gonna be, we're going to be beating everybody right here. So let's go back inside. And, well, let's see. Talk to this guy. It's time for the semifinals. I'm very curious about who will be the four competing in the gym challenge. Oh, you're ready to... Okay, please head to the pitch. Let's see. My... Oh, wow. I did not heal my Pokemon. Good gravy. Okay, so... <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I got to heal my Pokemon. Alrighty. We're back. And everything is healed. Let's go right ahead and start battling, okay? Let's do this. Playoff time. And, well, let's see. Before we do anything, I'm going to go off on a limb and... Uh, let's go with Kiss. Don't know... I don't remember who we're battling first. Quite frankly, I don't care. I just want to beat everybody. So, here we are in the pitch. And, uh, well, would you look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Our girlfriend's here. <laughs> I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know that there's been a lot of t a lot between us. What my big brother, uh, Team Yell, helping. Spike Month and all that. But the truth is, when all's is said and done, I really just want to become champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. Okay, I'm ready. So the... Um 
the gauntlet has been thrown, so bring it on, sister. So here it is, guys, our first challenge. Pokemon trainer Marnie. Playoff time. And here she's coming out with a Lyford. Okay. Let's go, kiss. And, oh, yeah, we can Dynamax here, too. So I got to win this. I'm going to be champion. I'm coming for you and everything I got. Whatever you say, honey. Let's go Super Brick or Super Brick Break. Break. And here comes a nasty plot. She's trying to be all strategic magic, and this right here will increase his special attack. So, let's see. Brick Break finishes it off. Mm hmm. Nasty plot, that. Okay, looks like Kiss is gonna be sweeping, and here comes a Scrafty. You know what? Let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Bex. Finish him off with Bex. And I don't think I'm going to be switching out, or I don't think I'm going to be uh, Dynamaxing my Pokemon until, like, the very last bet. Probably. I don't know. So here comes Scrafty. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a double kick right here. Double kick. Bam. Not so powerful. So, yeah, this is the reason why we need a better, uh, better move for this Pokemon. And, well, here comes a Swagger attack. It misses. Let's go right ahead, Pyro Ball, because we can. And wow, so we're we're just avoiding we're just avoiding moves right here. So okay, and let's go, Pyro Ball. Let's do it. Come on. There we go, Pyro Ball for the win. And there we go. That's how you do things right there. Okay, and she's going to be coming out with a Toxic Croak, so I think it's time for us to actually debut Togepi. Why? Because Togepi is a... well, it does have a good move right there that you know, I kind of want to use. Look at that. Okay. Let's go Flying Chicken. And Toxic Croak is looking mean as always, but guess what? We are mighty. Let's go with the Air Slash attack right here. Since we are a little bit faster, I guess. And bam. For the win. Second by the Toxic Pro. Okay. And, well, let's see. She's coming out with a more Pico. Let's switch it out. Let's go straight back to Kiss right here. Since it does have Brick Break. Brick Break, Brick Break. Pretty good move. We gotta go with the Brick Break. Okay. More Pico. Looking lovely. And, well. Let's see. She's got one more Pokemon. Let's go straight for the Brick Break attack. And she's going to come out with her Torment. And this right here is, yeah, subjecting our Pokemon to a Torment. But guess what? Brick Break does its trick. Say goodbye to more Pico. Mm hmm. And, yes, we're going closer. And here comes a Grim Snarl. All right, we got the Pokemon specifically for this guy right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a bit of a, you know what? I'm just gonna say, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show all these trainers that yes, I don't need the Dynamax to beat them. I did not read that, so here she goes, Grimmsnarl. Now, a Pokemon that I was gonna, uh, I was going to use instead of Togekiss. I. You know, I'm not regretting it because, well, I kind of, I kind of wanted to be a little bit more even now. I'm more, most of my Pokemon on this team, they're, they're physical attackers. I kind of need a special attacker in this one, so hopefully, hopefully this one will work. And well, look at this, Grimstar. And I think that is a holy bejeebus. That is the, the Dynamax version or Gigantamax version of Grimmsnarl and this guy is just looking down on us poisoned already and she's like I worked real hard training my favorite move just so I could use it in battle against you and here here comes G-Max Suze and that right there doesn't really work no we're getting drowsy but you're poisoned okay all right let's go poison jab Go ahead, go ahead, do what you can. So here we go. Gonna be even stronger. So here we go again, poison jab. And that almost defeats it, but I fall asleep, good gravy. And well, let's see, let's go right ahead and uh, let's see. 
Elixir, 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 Elixir. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with Bex. <sighs> it won't work. Switch it out. Yes, I know, guys. I'm being a little too cocky for my own good right here, but yes, Bex. Let's go. And Grim Snarl using G Max Snooze. And that hits us pretty hard. Not super effective, but guess what? Even playing field. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Pyro Ball. Uh, oh, wait. It's faster than this. So here it comes at the bulk up. Okay, all right. I see what you're doing. Let's go. Pyro Ball for the win. Goal. And just like that, Grim Snarl has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Vex, level 62. And, huh, it's learning port change. With the, with its mysterious power, the user swaps its effects on the other side of the field. Yeah, not doing that. Not being strategic right now. But look at this, Blitzkrieg. And, well, we have defeated Pokemon Trainer Marnie. She is not happy about this. Okay, so I lost. But I got to see a lot of good points of you and your Pokemon. And we get some more points and more, some more money because, well, yeah. And just like that, she's going to acknowledge me. That's right, guys. I just pulled a Roman range right there. And gee, we're going to do the shake of one right there. Yeah, we're doing cross-references. <laughs> Marnie's like, Every, everyone in the stadium was watching this during all that. I heard them cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not so bad. I think I'll join my brother in the stands and watch. Or we'll watch the sidelines to see who ends up being the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I want to cheer for you. See ya. Oh, wait. There's no shake of honor? Okay. Bad sport. Whatever. And Hop is there. Draven, what's up? I'll be waiting for you in the final match. Don't care. Really don't care. After seeing what, after seeing the way you battle, I can't accept the outcome besides winning this match. My team is on fire. Yeah, I, I just don't care about you, Hop. I really don't. I really, really, really don't. Okay, so... Here we are watching the, the whole Pokemon battles, and he's like, Pardon me. I know that you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended uh, more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handily, and so as soon as uh, you're ready, we want you back at the pitch. Hmm. Okay. Anywho, guys, we're going to pause it right here. Yes, I know. In the next episode, we're going to continue doing our little Pokemon League challenge right here, especially with uh, whooping Hop's butt. So, yeah. Stay tuned. In the next episode, poke more Pokemon League challenges right here. If you guys want to make a small donation, hit that little heart button right there, or, I don't know, links in the description below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on whatever trainer's next. See you guys.